morning, good people. Good morning. It is Pastor Nick. And Pastor Free. Today is Prayer and Healing Thursday. Um, man, we are we are just excited. We had a great, great time in church last night. Man, it wasn't fun. I oh, you weren't in. Well, we yeah, had a great time. I was in children's ministry. Pastor Freddie was in children's ministry. So no. anyway, we had a good time in church last night, man. I'm excited about this morning. Um, today is prayer and healing. Thursday, we're going to pray for some folks. We're going to talk about healing. Um, you know, I want you to know it's the will of God for you to be healed. Uh, the Apostle Paul said, I pray above all else that you prosper and be in good health. Mm -hmm. I pray above all things that you prosper and be in good health. And I want you to say this with me this morning. Today, today God, God is going to do going to something, do great something great in my life, in my life today. today. Just believe God that he's going to do something great in your life. I don't care what it looks like. You might have something that they say is incurable. You might have something that maybe you've been praying to, to be healed of for a long time. You haven't seen that healing. Uh, you may be in the healing process where you're, you're being healed. And uh, maybe, you know, the, the enemy's just trying to make you think you're not healed. I don't know what the exact things are that you in particular are going through. But I'm here to tell you that today is your receiving day. Hey, today man. is your healing day. And uh, we love you. So let's pray and get right in the word. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Uh, for this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in this day, in this day that you have made for us. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you that your word is alive. We thank you that your word is active. We thank you that your word is producing in our lives, that your word has power, that your word is coming to pass, Lord. We thank you for your word. You said you sent your word yes. and it healed us. We thank you that your word has healing power today. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I amen. thank you for all of you that are on, Miss Cynthia, Kita, Yalitza, uh, Tony and Haiti, Tarsila and David, Jerry, Jerry, Diane, Annie, Anna Grace, Joan, thank you, Shanika, thank you, Natifa, Carmen, uh, Madeline, Donzi, uh, Charles, thank you, Amanda, thank you, Madeline, thank you for joining, John Michael, Deacon Daryl, uh, Terry, uh, Lakeisha, Faye, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, for my folks in Pensacola, I want y'all to know it's now been officially put on the calendar. Uh, we will be doing a conference in Pensacola before the end of the year. Uh, it's probably going to be in the November, December time frame. It's going to be a Friday evening service for all of our ambassadors uh, in Pensacola. We're going to be talking about what that means. Uh, and, and then it's going to be a Saturday morning brunch. So it's going to be a Friday evening service uh, with Pastor Nick and Pastor Franny. For all of those faithful people in Pensacola that watch, uh, bring out your friends. And then on that next Saturday morning, we're going to have a brunch for all of you guys who have been on here and have been faithful. We want to meet you all. We want to hug you all. Yes. We want to love on you. Uh, we want to fellowship with you and just get to know you just a little bit better. Amen. Amen. So we love you guys. Uh, today is Prayer Thursday. I want to read a scripture to you. You know, uh, there was a question asked last night uh, in church. Uh, we were doing a Q&A. We're going to start doing Wednesday nights. At the end of service, we're going to have a Q&A. And we actually got the online audience involved, so that was good. We're actually going to have a testimony service where we get the online audience involved as well. Because we have a lot of really faithful online people. They're going to be able to get in there. But this question was asked last night, um, how do I know? I forget exactly how she asked it, but there, there was a lady that asked, you know, the gist of the question to me was she, she, this person had been believing for healing, but her healing hadn't manifested yet. So why does it seem like the word of God or the word on healing manifests in some people's lives and it doesn't manifest in other people's lives? And I actually told the, the young lady on the show that we discussed this this morning, but you know, it reminds me of the scripture where Jesus and the disciples were trying to heal the lunatic child the child that kept falling in the fire and all that. And they brought Jesus to, they brought the child to Jesus. Well, they came to Jesus and they said, this one can't be healed. And they literally said, is it because of generational curses? Because obviously the child was too young to have done any sin. Um, is it because of this? Is it because of that? 
And I want to read to you. Um, he didn't say this particular scripture, but he said something very, very close to it. Uh, and it goes back to Mark eleven twenty two, our, our 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 Mark eleven, yeah, twenty two and twenty three, where Jesus said, "Have faith in God." And the particular thing Jesus said in that scripture was, "Have the faith of a grain of mustard seed." And he goes on to say, "Because truly, I tell you, whosoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in their heart, but shall believe those things which he has said." will take place, it will be done for him. Now that's in the Amplified Bible. But here's the point I want you to get. He clearly makes it clear that he says he, 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 he says, but whosoever, sorry, shall say unto the mountain, be lifted up and be thou cast and see. And he says, and does not doubt in his heart. So there's, an, there's a part there that we play. Uh, number one, we have to say it. We have to speak it. We have to confess it. We have to directly uh, 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 speak it out of our mouth, declare it, decree it out of our mouth that God is his word. I said it earlier when we started the, the, the show. It's God's word through his word. Jesus, God sent his word and it healed us. His word healed us. So we got to speak his word. Then we got to not doubt in our heart. And that's where the real problem comes in because it comes into timing and when. Go ahead. Right. And also we have to do the natural. Right. A lot of times we, we don't do what we need to do in the natural. And we in, the, in the waiting process, we do. When, when, when we're in that believing process and what's the natural, it depends on what you're going through. The natural could be start exercising. The natural, natural could be go to a doctor. The natural could be, um, um, learn more about what you're dealing with, how to deal with it a little bit better. But one thing that is the natural part of, of not doubting God is thanksgiving. Amen. See, because forgiveness. Yeah, and forgiveness. Because we sit there and we hold all in our heart against other people. We hold unforgiveness in our hearts, right? And we're not thankful to God. And then we want to know why the word's not working in our life. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, it says this, when we are ever, say ever, ever, we are ever giving thanks to God for you all, continually mentioning you and engage, mentioning you when we engage in our prayers, forever giving thanks towards God recalling unceasingly before our God and Father your work energized by your faith and service. There's the best friend I was talking about, the, the natural. Motivated, motivated by love and unwavering hope in the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. So his word, just having un, unwavering hope unwavering yes. belief unwavering that means no doubt if god said it that settles it he will do it and then in first thessalonians 5 and 18 it says thank god in everything thank god in everything that's how doubt stays away amen no matter what the circumstances may be be thankful and give god thanks you see people on Facebook, they do this all the time. Woe is me. When you get on Facebook and you say, woe is me, why am I going through this? Why does this always happen to me? Why am I always the one? Some of y'all use Facebook to give praise to Satan. That's what you're doing. You're playing into the hand of the enemy. You. This is a battle of the mind. Faith and healing is a battle of the mind. Are you going to say what God said? Or are you going to say how you emotionally feel? Mm, and the reason why you're so quick to feel the emotion you feel and to say the things that you say is because there is no word in you. The word of God has to be in you. 
It's always amazed me how people think they 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 cannot come to church. They cannot study the word. They cannot pray. And they think these things they're going through, sickness, disease, uh, uh, bad relationships, all these things that you pray for, they think they're just going to go away. They, they can. God can do a miracle. But we live by faith. We live by our words. We live by our attitude. We live by what we choose to speak and say and believe. It says this, for this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and the mediator of that will. What is the will? Let me read it again. Thank God in everything, no matter, write it down. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 18. Some of y'all need to write that down, put it in your pocket. And when you want to get emotional, take it out and read it out loud. I am going to thank God in everything. And instead of writing out all that crap you wanted to write on Facebook to have your little pity party with the world, write down one thing. I, When you're feeling bad, when you're feeling down, when the sickness gets worse, when the situation gets worse and you wanna lash out, write it down. I choose to thank God in everything. No matter the situation, no matter the circumstances I may be in, I am thankful and I give God thanks for this is the will of God. You always wonder what's God's will for my life. God's will for your life is you become thankful. God's will for your life is you trust him. God's will for your life is you believe him. Yeah. And I've seen it where some people even say, what is it that I have to be thankful for? They get so engulfed right. into their emotions. They actually will say that. I mean, my God, you're playing into the hands of the enemy right. at that point. You got to stay thankful. And he said to think of things that are true. Think of things that are good. Think of things that are honest. You know what? Because it could be another way. Right. It could be so much worse. Right. Seem to just forget that. Right. They do. Start they do. I'm like, no, no. Right. Well, 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 what was me? It could be a lot worse. Oh, yeah. It could be a lot worse. Amen. So listen, I'm excited about everybody on. We're going to pray. Um, um, uh, we're going to just begin to pray. we got a few minutes left. Um. Uh, and I just want you guys agreeing with us. I want you guys just just while you're home praying in the in your heavenly language. If you don't pray in spirit, just just begin to be be thankful to God. Okay, Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this healing Thursday. We thank you for everybody, Father God, who is connected to this ministry. Father, I send forth your favor. Yes, sir. Father, I send forth your healing. Yes, Father, I send forth your wisdom to each and every one of them. Lord, I lift them up to you. Father, I thank you that your favor surrounds them like a shield. I thank you, Lord, that your healing power from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, thank every you. cell, every tissue, every organ yes. in their body to line up with your word. Yes. We declare healing. We send your word, Father, and you said it healed them. And Lord, right now we have some prayer requests here. Father God, right now we thank you for John Brain. Yes, He's Lord. Believing for, oh, believing for his family. Yes. And, uh, for his father. Oh, and for his sleep for himself. Father oh, God, I just thank you right now. You say that you that touch oh, and agree. That the, the asphalt shall be done yes, for them. Lord. And we agree with him right yes, now, Father. Lord. For everything he's written in this petition this morning. Yes. Father God, we thank you right now for Marilyn Mason. Right. She's believing for healing for her marriage and her back and her knees. Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, right now for a marriage right yes. now. Lord Father, you say any two that touch and agree, yes. what they ask for shall be done. Lord, yes. I just thank you for agreement for this yes. marriage, Lord. Father, I thank you for unconditional love. Thank you that Marilyn walks in unconditional love, Father, because you are a reward of yes. that diligently seeking. Yes. And when she walks in unconditional love, she's pleasing you, and therefore you will please her. Yes. Father, just thank you for her knees. I thank you, Father, that her knees are strong, Father. Yes. I just thank you, Father, for her back, Lord. Yes. I just think it is strong, Father. I just thank you for healing from the top yes. of her head to the sole of her feet. In Jesus', in Jesus name, name, amen. Yes.
Father God, we thank you for crystal vines. Crystal's yes. believing for favor and peace. Glory. Father, just thank you, Father, for favor for employment, full-time employment yes. for crystal, Lord. Yes. Father, just thank you, Father, just not that, but it's a great job, a job with benefits, Lord. Yes. Father, just thank you, Father, right now for her sleep, her, her sweet her sleep, her Father, for her, Father. Yes. I just thank you, Father, she casting her cares yes. upon you, Lord. Father, oh, you said in Proverbs 3, 5, trust the Lord with all our hearts. Yes. Lean not to our own understanding. Yes. And all our ways, acknowledging you, the yes, rest of the time, Father. You, I just thank you for her path this morning and that she's relying on you. Yes. Father God, I thank you for Thomas Burns. Yes. He's believing for favor and healing. Yes. Father, I just thank you, Father, right now for Thomas. I thank you, Father, for favor in every glory, endeavor. Glory, and glory. I just thank you, Father, right now for healing in his body. Yes. From the top of his head to the yes. soul of his Lord, body. I lift up Jessica to you right now, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that COVID has no effect on her physical body. Lord, I thank you from the crown of her head uh, yes. to the sole yes. of her feet, every cell, every tissue, yes. every yes. organ yes. in her body. Yes. Line up with your word. I send your word. Yes. And you said it healed her. I thank you that through Jesus Christ, you, she Lord. is healed. Thank you, Lord. I lift up uh, Mr. and Mrs. Turner, Lord. I pray peace over them, Father God, for their family right now. Lord, I send your ministering angels to minister to them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I thank you that they hear it loud and clear. All is well with the Turners. Yes. All is well thank with you. the Turners. Thank you, I thank you for sweatless victory thank with you, Jeff, Jessica. In Jesus' right. name, Lord, I lift up Carlos. Yes. I thank you, Father God, for, for, for Crystal and Carlos. I lift them up to you right now, Lord. I thank you for confidence. Yes. I thank you for yes. hope. I thank you for trust in your healing power, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that the doctors have the wisdom to get the right blend of medication uh, for Carlos moving forward. I thank you for them having faith, for them having favor, and the doctors having wisdom in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up Elizabeth. I thank you, Lord, for her continued healing in her physical body, Lord. Everything in her body being restored. I lift up Natifa, Father. Her physical body, everything, Lord, yeah, 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 being yeah. restored. I lift up Miss Rose to you. Everything in her physical body, Father God, yeah. being restored. Lord, I lift up my daughter, Athena. Yeah, yeah, I thank yeah, you, yeah. Father God. The enemy has no authority, has no power over her mind, Lord. Father God, I thank you for faith, Father. I thank you for healing. Lord, I set forth your angels right now to encamp themselves around her right now. Lord, I lift up Mary's arms to you right yeah, now, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for her arms, Lord, for healing in those arms. Yes. Lord, I thank you for Tony and Haiti for favor uh, with them right now, thank Father you. God. Thank Lord, we you. just give thanks, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for the leadership of our church. I thank you for the thank members you. of our church, Lord. I thank you for the partners, the online partners, Lord. I just pray favor in their lives right now, Lord. Yes. I thank you for healing where it's needed in their lives, Father God. I thank you for soundness of mind, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, wherever the enemy is attacking, Lord, you will begin to fortify that area with your word, yes. Father God. Yes. Lord, I thank you, Father. Lord, I lift up Diego's knees and his ankles and his feet, his lower extremities, Lord. While he goes through this football season, I pray protection, Father God, right now, Lord. I lift up marriages right now, right Lord. Now. I lift them up. I lift up Katie and Mike, Lord. I lift up, Father God, these marriages to you right now, Lord. I thank you, Father, for your thank healing you. power, you. your power of forgiveness, oh, yeah. your power of love, Father God. I thank you thank for it right now. Thank and, Lord, I lift up the state of Florida to you right now uh, during this hurricane season. I just thank you, Father, for our protection, yes. for our wisdom. Yes. And, Lord, I thank you that none of these storms this year, Father, in any way will be yes. catastrophic, Lord. Yes. For, Lord, I just thank you, Father, for your grace and for your mercy being on us, Lord. I thank you for it now. All that we pray, Father, yes. we believe it. Yes, Lord. We agree with your yes. word, and we give you all the thanks, all the praise, and all the honor. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen amen, 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 amen. Thank you all for joining this morning. Tomorrow's Financial Friday. Man, got a great word for you. Uh, join us on Financial Friday tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And until tomorrow, Pastor Nick, Pastor Franny saying, enjoy life.